be with what is. And what is, um, is that deep sense of shared ground, shared reality, shared natural state, shared root, the essence of everything, the Godhead, and the arising into the heart, which is the great interconnected. And then what arises, what appearance is in this moment, in your awareness. And um, if you listen deeply, really deeply, intimately, then there'll be a, a movement, you know, that, that perhaps, uh, you know, just like Yo-Yo Ma was, was moved to create this exquisite, you know, music, the Song of Solace. And others, you know, will, we have heroes here that uh, in our small community that are going and checking up on people and getting groceries and taking them into their driveway and, you know, what do you need? And, and we're here for you. And, you know, you're not alone. And, and this is a community of a lot of hermits. And uh, so there's, there's movement. Perhaps we're finding that it's a, um, a restart, right? It's like um, we've, we're so busy as a, as a uh, collective. Um, we don't have enough time. We have all these diversions. And now pretty much that's closed down. I mean, we're obsessing on the internet now, but um, who knows about that? So it's in that reset in a way, what are your values? What is it that, how do you want to live this life? What, where do you want to, it's so short, it's so precious, it's so, it's over in a minute. You know, where do you want to, how do you want to live this precious life, right? It allows us to really see that and to, you know, look at that. Um, my teacher, was, we've been listening to uh, his course in the last two to three days and he talks a lot about the values. You know, what are your values? Are your values, you know, scaring each other with all these stories of what could happen or what's supposedly happening and we're, we don't know about it because um, we're being controlled? Or do you want to uh, create something that, that, that supports us and um, helps feel like we're in this together? and we're not alone. Uh, being a single mother for a long time, most of my daughter's raising really, um, I just had tremendous compassion for single mothers, you know, because, you know, four or five kids and hardly any money and, you know, no support and uh, uh, where am I gonna live and, you know, my rent and you know, all of that. And I thought, you know, if, if, if we could, understand that we are connected, we are supported, that the earth itself is made up of abundance. And she's a creatrix, right? She's, she, our life is abundant. And then start to come from that, start to listen, what does that mean? You know, how is it that this isn't one woman trying to raise five kids in the middle of the city, not knowing where the food and the rent is going to come from? You know, it's it's a shift of, of um, it's a shift of attention, and I'm not saying you know that all of a sudden that all will go away. I'm I'm not trying to say that. I'm just saying it's a shift of attention of being totally alone and isolated, and then supported and resting in that that all life arises from. That's, that's the opportunity I think that we're given here right now. Um, you know, it's that old classic, which wolf do you want to feed? And I'm not speaking of denial. I'm speaking of inclusion of whatever arises. But it's an inclusion of looking at and touching and exploring and being curious about um, loving what's arising, even if it's pure panic, you know, 
you can collapse in the panic or you can open and and feel like it's like a um, an embracing or a container it's the great being that you know holds that panic and permeates that panic and loves that panic and then it starts to dissolve because that's how it functions <laughs>